what would you do differently if you could start over in coaching? I think I would have started my career placing a premium on relationships over X's and O's. You're going to get that over time. You're going to figure out what you like, but I think that's the first thing. Um, I also think I would have wished I'd have learned earlier that it's not what you teach, it's what you emphasize. You know, you always uh, hear coaches talk about, uh, you know, man, you know, they should just know that. No, they shouldn't just know that. If you don't do that every day in practice, that's your fault. And I'm I'm guilty of that, you know, uh, where I – whenever now, whenever we're not doing something well, that's the first thing I ask myself, you know, because I can tell you, yeah, I can go back and show you where we're doing this every day. But I place no value on it. I don't emphasize it. I'm, I'm just giving it lip service. I've got to show that that's important. I, I think that's another thing that it's not what you teach. It's what you emphasize. I wish I'd have known that. And I, I think just, you know, I'm not one of these guys. I feel like sometimes I say too much in practice. I need to shut up. But I, I, I at some point I learned standing in close proximity to the drill is not coaching. You know, you, you got to teach. And, and I just think you, when you're in there, you got to teach, 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 teach. And, and you better have good practices. You know, you better have good practices. And then uh, I, I think just uh, keeping it simple. I, I I can muck it up, man. I can muck it up with the best of them. I just I, – I and that's advice for myself now. I just – I think the simpler you, you keep it, the, the better it usually turns out, you know. Um, I, I know there's a <clears> – <throat> there's a handout I had one time. I don't remember who it was from. It was, it was a lot like the question was, you know, what do you wish an older coach would have told you when you were younger? You know, that reminded yeah. me of that. Man, a big nugget that you said earlier, and I kind <clears> of <throat> glazed past it and I didn't want to, was asking that question, would you want to play for yourself? Yeah. There's been times at Faith when we're running and gunning and free-flowing offense, giving great effort, the bench is cheering. I'm I'm up cheering like, <laughs> man, heck yeah, I would. That'd be a lot of fun. And then I, I there are some games where I'm watching film and I I hear I hear what I'm saying. Yeah, I hear the tone. I hear if I was a a, a fan or a parent of the opposing team, I would think, golly, what's wrong? with that guy like that's not you know and it there's a lot of to me a lot of shame in those moments that I can't get back and but like I really appreciate those those reminders that you just gave because you know you're anytime you've said any any time I I think the post game speech it should be about a minute long, whether you won or lost, because I can't think of one single time that I ever went in after a game and just exploded that anything positive was said, anything or forget positive, just constructive. You're you're emotional, they're emotional. And sometimes it's just let's get dressed and get out of here. I think that's sometimes the best thing you can say. You know? Yep. Tyler Costin. Uh, on on his episode, man, it was almost two years ago now, which is nuts. But he talked about doing away with post game talks altogether. He yeah. says he says T- huddle up right out right on the floor, say thank you, I love watching you play, whatever you say, and let them go eat pizza, let them be with their friends. And he said because you're, you're right on the money, win or loss in that moment, yeah. they uh, they're done. They don't want to hear anything. Yeah. And and so what I've started to do is uh as soon win or lose especially at home we just meet right at half court they already have assigned things that per grade to break down the gym and and so they know to do that but i just bring them together and that's and, and, and with, with everybody standing there watching us it really holds me accountable to that short yeah. talk smiling, hugging, and all this stuff, because I can't light them up right there, Coach. I can't. <laughs> Not in front of Grandma and Grandpa. and But I don't really want to do that anyway. So that's been a helpful thing for me. But, yeah, I think you're right on the money 
uh, with, with with that. It's insane too because you 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 can go. I can remember after a loss one time going in there and you're looking at their faces. And you're like, he's not suffering enough. He is. <laughs> you start playing that game. He wow. doesn't look angry enough. You know, and it's 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 uh, it's it's crazy. I had an AD remind me that we're the weird ones. Yeah, they're they're not, <laughs> and to expect them to be as weird as us and to care as much as us. That's a good uh, point. We just want them to care the appropriate amount that a yeah. high school kid that has the rest of his life ahead of him, especially the majority of them that don't want to play after high school, we just want them to care an appropriate amount. And I think that's where <laughs> culture again. I. I am. I am. I'm kind of with a lot of those. Co- coach Fitch from Birdville, uh, you know, yeah, long know, time yeah. coach. He, uh, I, he, I asked him the culture question. He said, man, you know, 15, 20 years ago, we didn't even use that word. Like, yeah, we, we just didn't. never even talked about it. But everybody, my high school coach had a culture. It was respect the game. He didn't say, he didn't say that's what it was. We just knew it. And but now, I mean, it's not a bad thing that that word is used and it's way more out there and, and everything. It, 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 I think it highlights the fact that it's necessary and we need to be conscious of what direction because we all have one, what direction it's going. 